<laughs> Read these confessions, bro. All right. When I was younger, like in kindergarten, me and my friend were wondering what we would be like if we kissed. So one day at the playground, we kissed in front of the teacher and like 20 kids. So my mom had to take me out of the school and things from the things the kids and teachers were saying. And my cook, unk, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I have a hard time reading. So don't get, don't even fucking say nothing. But was y'all both the same gender? In kindergarten, though, I did some fucked up shit in kindergarten, though. I'm not gonna lie. I got suspended. Best part, best memory of my life, actually. I got suspended because, like, we were, um, we were, uh, you know how you sit crisscross in front of the board? So the teacher had to take a phone call. And I forgot. I seen this shit, like, Usher was doing in a music video. So, like, I did this shit. I was doing this shit. I was sitting down crisscross. I, I, I went from crisscross and I was doing this shit. In kindergarten. And that was the weekend I was supposed to go with my dad. So they called my mom. I got in trouble. She moved She moved my shit from green to instantly blue. Phone call home. So she called my mom, but my mom didn't answer. So my mom didn't answer. And it was the best moment in my life, bro. I went, I mean, my dad picked me up. So I went to my dad's house that weekend. And my, dad, my mom called my dad talking about, hey, put, put little Tony on the phone. Put little Tony ass on the phone. She went on. So you suspended for grinding up, for grinding in the middle of class? I was like, no. I, my dumbass, I'm like, no. She said, so the teacher lying? I'm like, no. Like, bro, as a kid, I did not know how to lie. But that's how I got suspended in the kindergarten. And everybody will remember that shit. But, like, I was a cool kid after that. I don't know why. But, shit. Yeah, you, you're you not cooked, though. You're not cooked, you feel me? In kindergarten, like, you feel me? Like, Unless you in the first grade, my nigga. Kindergarten, not, let that shit be in the past. You, as long as we don't know who said this, so you should be good. All right, next one. Context. When I was around six years old, I found my dad's porn folder on the computer, which changed my changed me forever. Okay. All right, bet. So when I was around nine years old, my youngest cousin was six. We were alone in a room, and I touched my... And I touched him inappropriately, like just started jiggling his stuff because I remember seeing it in the fly. Oh, the files. That's what people do, apparently. And I was curious. I don't know if he remembers it. He probably don't, which is good, but it still haunts me to this day because I, I still feel really bad, even though I didn't know better or anything. I'm not going to lie, gang. I'm not going to lie, gang. I'm not going to lie to you. Turn yourself in. Turn yourself in. You were Diddy before Diddy was Diddy. Like, let's be real. You were jiggling. A not, you were at nine years old jiggling your, your, your six-year-old cousin's balls? You're jiggling balls at nine years old? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. You're done. You're done. Actually, I'm going to find a way to find out who this is, and I'm calling the police on you. I stroke it to little kids. Okay. Uh... Do not, do, that was, no. Nah. Okay. I beat it, W Grammar. I beat it up a blind guy because I thought he was staring at me the whole time. It be like that, though. I'm not gonna lie, it be like that. It be like that. It actually be like that. Because I I don't, like, I don't have an actual story of this happening to me. But, like, I feel as that, like, you know, blind people, bro, they just be staring, though. Like, but they don't be staring, you feel me? They stare, but they don't stare. But, like, they be staring off his face because they don't know that there's a person right there. And you, they look at dead at you. I'm in it. Like, that shit. You feel me? It has, it hasn't happened to me. But, like, you feel me? I, I see it. When I was young, my friend. W spelling. When I was young, my friend would show his D for a joke. But in reality, it was funny to me because it was a joke. But I liked it. You freaky as hell, gang. You are too fucking freaky. I'm not gonna lie. When you was young, you were you was young, and that's what you liked. You too freaky. I'm not gonna lie. Get your life together. Actually, here, where's the Bible at? We need to. It's over there. It's too far. Read you a Bible verse tonight, please. I have nothing to confess. My fault. My fault. Lame money. Okay. Con All right. You already said this one. I watch transgender porn. Don't we all though? Like, don't we all? Like, if we being honest, we we all have watched transgender porn. You feel me? Like, come on, bro. She males, come on, bro. 
Chicks with dicks? Come on, bro. Don't sit here. I like y'all don't. Um, me and my sister got caught doing the spicy tango. Then I hit a Fortnite dance. You're definitely 12 years old. Who is we? We, like me and you. On all y'all soul, on everybody soul but mine, we watch transgender porn. Bro, I promise you. Well, once upon a time, I was so horny that I was just down bad. I ended up shoving a cucumber up my shit and beating my thing, thinking it was a cucumber. It was my best friend. Some people don't deserve it. Not gonna lie. <sighs> you telling me you shoved a cucumber in your shit and started jerking your shit at the same time. And thought it was your best friend. I'm not gonna lie. We're doxing this man. We're gonna find out who this is, and we're sending this to to his best friend. 100%. I'm gay, but I didn't tell anyone. What do I do? Just tell them, nigga. It's 2024. Niggas can't judge you for being gay, bro. Like they can though. They can, but they can't do it in public. You feel me? They can't do it out loud. If they do it out loud, then the whole community could be on their ass. So if you gay, bro, just say it, bro. It's okay to it's. Just say it. Just go. Just get get it off your chest. But also, you feel me? After you do, read the Bible. Read the Bible. Get delivered. You feel me? There's nothing wrong. Let me. I, I don't want to be canceled. You feel me? So I'm just going to keep moving. Don't come to Shiver Report. We're going to press you, little bro. Not going to lie. Where the fuck is even Shiver Report is? I'm not going to Shiver Report, bro. I'm not going anywhere that's that name Shiverport. I'm not worried about nobody in no fucking Shiverport. I promise you, bro, I was not coming. If we being honest, if a Shiverport nigga, what, a Shiverportian came up to me, I would spit on that nigga. Like, we're not worried about no Shiverport niggas, bro. I belated my ding dong. Oh, I belated my ding link to your... Oh, I beat W spelling. I beated my ding link to your videos. I touched myself in my sleep. You know what? You touch yourself in your sleep? In your sleep? Like, so you be sleep jerking your shit. Like, you be in realm sleep jerking your shit. Not gonna lie, bro. You need, be you need better tendencies at that point. If you gonna do shit in your sleep, nigga, do push-ups in your sleep, nigga. Try to better yourself. I met up with Unc, President Loy, and we got freaky all night. That's not facts, actually. That's not facts. That didn't happen. Don't believe anything you say. Don't believe what you hear on the internet. When I was eight, I didn't shower for an entire month. I don't believe that. Unless you homeless, I don't believe that. There's no way your parents let eight-year-old you walk around and not shower. If your parents did let you do that, there is more that I'm more mad at your parents. Because at eight years old, I didn't want to shower. Come on now. As a kid, you didn't want to shower. You feel me? As a kid, you didn't want to shower. But you're telling me you actually did not shower? You know what? I'm blaming the parents. Jit can't pronounce shiver report. I don't care. Sure, I'm not going. Okay, one time. Oh, wait. One time I was horny as hell. So I grabbed one of my plushies and fucked it over and over again until I passed out with my dick still in the plushie and my nut sulfied. Still in it. Probably said still in it. You're never that horny, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Niggas just don't masturbate normal anymore. That's the problem, bro. Niggas don't masturbate normally anymore, bro. That's that's bro. Y'all gonna stop telling me I didn't say it right. How the fuck you say shit report, bro? How the fuck you say shit report, bro? Where the fuck is even shit report at? Louisiana? How the fuck you say that shit? No, I don't want this fuck. I want it to pronounce it for me, bitch. Oh. Shreveport. Shreveport? Tomato, tomato, bitch. Um. Yeah, next one. I really like it up my buddy. Bro, y'all niggas can't spell for shit, bro. I really like it up my booty crease, but I don't know how to confess this to my friends. I'm scared they'll make fun of me and kick me out of the friend group. When I was 17, I was fully convinced I love to receive it. After accidentally watching gay porn, I'm scared, man. I'm supposed to like women, but I'm they're all annoying. 
Niggas are annoying too, though. I, I feel like I feel like women being annoying isn't the main factor of reason why you shouldn't like them. You feel me? I personally think if you if you give up on women and you want to take it up the butt just because a girl annoyed you, you never liked women in the first place. Let's not let's not make that fake ass excuse. Just say you were gay. You're gay. Come on, just say you're gay. You're gay. It's okay. Now, bro. You said when I was 17. So it sounds like you're an adult now. So since you're an adult, bro, just be your fucking self at this point. Go ahead. Go ahead and be gay. Be gay. Just go outside and just be gay. Actually, right now, go outside right now and kiss the first dude you see. Kiss the first dude you see. See what happens. Go ahead. Go have fun. Have a blast. I touch myself to Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, you're in 4K, buddy. Sorry, Pookie. I love Dookie chips. That's definitely a fucking... That's a nigga whose balls have not seen any pubic hairs yet. I love Dookie chips. All right, bro. Do better. I had an affair with my sister's boyfriend, and now I'm pregnant. She just announced at the dinner last week that she is also pregnant with his kid. I don't know what to do. Please help. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, honestly, in all honesty, first, you got to tell your sister. You gotta tell your sister, bro. Just be honest and tell your sister. Second, you gotta you gotta kill the, the nigga. You gotta kill him. Like I just want we gotta kill him. We gotta kill him. No, actually, uh, I don't know what you can do because I've never been pregnant before. Feel me? So like I wouldn't know. I've never been in this situation. But personally, I would just say you gotta be honest. And if you don't want to be honest, just you know the first flight of stairs. I'm not saying jump. Just take a little tumble. You feel me? A little tumble. If you don't want to be honest about it. Or you could just say you could just say that you're a whore and you got pregnant and you don't know who the father is. You got three options there. You can either tell the truth, belly flop down some stairs on accident, or just say that you're a whore, you don't know who the dad is. I'm not reading that. I plan on leaving both my parents in a retirement home in a few states away. They'd be like that. You feel me? It'd be like that. I probably wouldn't leave my parents in no retirement home. But, you know, I might, I'm might. i going to have bread. So, like, if my parents get that old, they're going to be in my house. But I'm going to have, like, a nanny for them. You feel me? I smelled my sister's panties when I was six years old and she was four. You're fucking disgusting. Y'all niggas are disgusting, bro. Actually, y'all actually need help. Y'all 100% need help. Actually, let me read a Bible verse for y'all real quick, bro. Y'all need help, bro. Y'all need help. Y'all need help, bro. Let's, it's obviously y'all got problems with lust. So let's find something with, uh, with, with lust. Let's find a Bible verse to help y'all with lust. Cause y'all, y'all need it. We need something with overcoming lust. Overcoming lust, actually. Because y'all niggas, y'all niggas are terrible. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's just look up lust. Because y'all niggas actually need it. Okay. Galatians 5.16. So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. The Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit guide your life. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. You would not, you would not be smelling your sister's panties if you let the Holy Spirit guide you. I can tell you that. Okay. Bangle, no. Nope. Um, I once got a text from a scammer telling me I needed to pay my car loan, told him that I had a Legoland driver's license, and I had a two-hour conversation with us screaming at each other. That sounds funny. I might do that. I use Sephora black as paint for my art class. My teacher said that I got that I got the painting a little too crispy. I don't know what Sephora black is. I'm assuming Sephora black is uh is is makeup. So you feel me? If you want to paint for makeup, you can do what you gotta do, man. Okay. The longest I went without showering is one week. You're fucking disgusting. You actually disgust me. And I hope someone forces you in the shower one night. 
hope you get forced into a shower with not not consent because you actually disgust me. And they bathe you, and they just let you sit there in the soap because you are disgusting. I'm going to touch you, Lloyd. I wish you try. I wish you would try. I wish you would fucking try. I'm going to touch you, Jaden. Okay? When I was in the second grade, my best friend told me to look under the table, and she flashed her hoo-ha at me. I don't want to I don't want to picture. I do not want to imagine that. The last thing I want to imagine is you in the second grade getting flashed by your your friend. That's the last thing I want to know. I, I don't want to see that. I don't want to I don't even want to think of that. Okay. Me and my sister had sex again and our parents called us and joined us. Oh. Yeah, no. When I went to Dallas Cowboys game, me and my girl had sex in the bathroom. We got caught, kicked out, and now we can say my balls is deep in Dallas. Okay. Is y'all niggas dropping shit right now? Bye. All right. All right. That was just, that was just cool. That was just, that was just, feel me? Y'all got a lot of issues. I'm not going to lie. Y'all got a lot of issues. I noticed that. Y'all have a lot of issues. Y'all need to get y'all lives together. Y'all need to get y'all lives together. Period, point blank. Period, point blank. I see a black man aiming his gun. <laughs> <laughs>